Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I do in these videos is help educate you about productivity tools and resources to help you achieve more in your day. In today's video, I'm going to show you a Chrome Web Store extension called Papier that essentially allows you to take notes across your day in a really simplistic manner, uh, very similar to Evernote, OneNote and uh, Google Keep but in, in more of a kind of basic situation. So just before I start, I wanted to give uh, a shout out to um, my new weekly um, email. And basically the weekly email is, it's a summary of a lot of different things uh, that I've been um, finding on the web over the week. So very similar to um, Tim Ferriss's Five Bullet Friday. I try and keep it short, but I try and keep it valuable as well. Uh, I'm not selling anything in this um, in this email, uh, and I don't sell anything. It's just as much value as I can add, and another form of value that you can go. So you can find new apps, uh, you can find hacks and then tips, uh, exclusive videos that I haven't released yet, and also you know song suggestions uh, for keeping productive, of course, and other things like that. So if you want to sign up, um, I've literally um, I've got a link, and it will be in the uh, description. And I've only got 31 subscribers so far, so I'd really appreciate if any of the subscribers on YouTube come over. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet on YouTube, please do, um, and, uh, and that would be really, uh, really helpful. So guys, let's carry on with the episode. So we're learning about Papier today, and it's a Chrome Web Store extension, as I said. Uh, and once you've installed it, um, it's got 15,000 users, which is quite impressive. Essentially what happens is, I'll just reload it. So you just open up a new tab, that's all you do, and you get introduced to Papier. And essentially it's a blank, I mean, it comes with instructions when you start, but I cleared those instructions. It comes with a very simplistic blank uh, tab. So if I were to put test, uh, hello, and it comes up in this very you know raw text, like markdown, uh, you, can, you can edit things in, um, in bold. So if you hover over something, you can bold it, you can italic it, you can underline it using all of the kind of natural keyboard um, edits, uh, keyboard shortcut, sorry. Um, down in the bottom hand corner, which is quite nice, is you've got the ability to see how many characters you're putting out. So let's say you just wanted to dump loads of notes here. Uh, you could actually see, maybe you're writing an essay and you want a really uh, distraction-free view um, of everything. Because I know, you know, Google, Google Drive is amazing and I use it regularly to write long essays and things like that because it's one of the best ways to keep yourself uh, non-distraction, you know, nothing's going to come and jump in the way. But that top bar is actually still getting in the way. Um, and this, you know, put it in full view, for example, and you've actually got a zero distraction uh, experience, which is great. Um, down in the bottom left-hand corner, they've actually got some uh, ability to see all of the uh, options. You know, you can actually uh, learn more about the product itself. You can actually print them, which I quite like, because that could be a really valuable thing. Um, so you can uh, you can print them um, in any format you want. You can enter night mode. I quite like this because obviously when you're writing at night, it's really valuable to see that kind of thing. Um, you know, get through some uh, activities like that, so it's not too straining on your eyes. You can enter a full screen mode, as I just did, but in a more kind of native way. Um, and then if you don't know the keyboard shortcuts, there's all of the edits there. You can even strike through as well which is shift control S if you didn't know. Um, they also have emoji support. So if you did want to copy in emojis, um, I can't seem to get it to make an emoji, but uh, you can actually drag them in, which is quite nice. So you can actually make it uh, a nice experience as you go across your day. One thing I think would be valuable with this is the way that you can use it across your day. So for example, what I'm going to be trying to do is kind of monitor it as a journal type thing. So whenever I finish a task, that's large or quite big, and I don't actually want to go over my Todoist activity log or my Todoist completed task for the day. I might actually just go here and go, okay, today I actually completed, you know, I finished 10 pages of that book, or uh, I completed this big project, or I made progress with this big project or activities. So it might be a good way of actually journaling throughout your day, because obviously this uh, actually syncs every time you go on Chrome, so it natively syncs to Chrome. I don't think, I think it syncs to your Google Chrome account so that's essentially your google account but um something that is really valuable because obviously if you move around you can actually see um, all of your kind of papier notes as you go across your chrome devices i believe that's the way it syncs and it does state that 
Um, but this is quite exciting. I mean, this is a really valuable tool that I think I'll be getting to know to use. I mean, I've installed it now. Um, you guys have seen that I've been using the Pinterest tab. Uh, but this is something that I can actually uh, quickly jot notes on. Um, even if it's a simple, you know, this could be used as a brain dumping area. So, you know, you've finished a meeting or you've uh, finished some activities or uh, you come back from a, a, an event or you're at an event and you can quickly just go, uh, you know, get a new car. I don't know, just random stuff. And you can literally just get these all out and have them as a kind of brain dumping area. And then all, you, all you'd have to do is uh, natively input them into your task manager. And from there, you'd have the ability to kind of add the context specifically around them. I think some people will probably use this as a task manager. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it, but, you know, this could be a cool way of actually organizing that. So anyway, guys, that's just a quick peek at how Papier works. I mean, there's not really much else to this experience, but a very simplistic slate and a great way to kind of organize, not organize, sorry, uh, write notes and uh, get things down straight away uh, and a distraction-free experience at that. So anyway, guys, that's the video today. I'm going to be doing some more videos like this, uh, reviewing some bigger tools and also sharing some great stuff. So uh, again, please do subscribe to my weekly email. I think it's valuable because uh, you get a lot of content there. You get a lot of suggestions. Um, and I think I'm doing my best every week to add as much different stuff that you don't see on Twitter and things like that. So please do subscribe to that. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.